Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I literally did not want to heal as quickly as it was possible for me to heal because I felt that in healing that and healing and basically releasing that story overnight, it was almost like I was disrespecting myself, the part of me that had held on to those stories for so long, and the part of me that had let them become such a huge and integral part of my identity and my being and my life. It was literally almost like thumbing my nose at myself to heal. And so I thought, you know what, let's make it a process. Let me suffer through mm -hmm. it a little bit more, and I'll gradually wean myself off of my suffering. And, I mean, it sounds really, really messed up to hear somebody say that, and I'm admitting it. I did that. But I'm saying it, and I'm admitting it freely because I see so many people who are doing the same thing. And I just mm. want to go, we don't have to do that. And actually, that was, that was kind of the full circle. That's where I wanted to go, and that's the point I wanted to drive home before we do this process with everyone because I want them to know as we do this, they can let go of all of it. Oh, I got, like, chills tapping into the energy. People are so ready right now. Do you, are you ready? I'm ready. We've got people um, writing in, and, and uh, I'll just tell people, a lot of people are saying this is resonating, my body's actually vibrating. Uh, other people are saying, I've tried so many different things, I've studied so many different things, I'm not getting anywhere, I'm going backwards. So definitely, this is the moment. Let's absolutely do this. Yeah, well, I, I want to address for 30 seconds, and then I'll do it, the, the people okay. who have tried everything and not done it. Um, mm. Me and you, all, we're all in the same boat, guys. I literally for, you know, 10, 15 years, every single meditation, every single book, everything there was, I read it and it didn't work and I got pissed off and it just made me worse. In a lot of ways, I felt like I just kept backsliding. And what I finally realized when I kind of was able to really let go of that story, I was kind of, part of me was holding on to like the parts of me that I did not like and I didn't realize I was holding on. But the biggest thing I was limiting myself from was having the experience of myself. Because I believed that the world was out to get me, because I believed I wasn't good enough, because I believed that I didn't belong, whatever the family structure is, I can feel a few of you out there that this is actually some genetic stuff, and so we're going to kind of move those cords uh, as we do this exercise. But literally, once you can get into and enable yourself to have the experience of you, Anything you do will work because you will be tapped back into that sovereign place of you. So for some of you, there's going to be some stuff, and that's what we're going to do in this meditation. We're going to clear all of that stuff out so that you don't have kind of those limiting stories and those limiting voices keeping you from plugging into those places in you that are authentically powerful that will remind you and awaken you to your ascended power. So with that said, what I want everybody <laughs> to do. No, go ahead, Darius. No, I just laughed and said, <laughs> I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so I can, it, uh, it's such a great build. Like, literally, I just, it's, like, it's like a drumbeat. It just feels so good to me right now, which is literally, I'm being corrected. It's like a heartbeat. So it's like all of us coming together and beating as one. So what mm -hmm. I want everybody to do is just take a deep breath. And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale through the nose. But as we exhale through the mouth, we're actually going to connect in with sound. Now, sound is actually a physical vibration. Everything in our world, everything in our existence is vibration. So as we're able to connect into that sound, not only does it help center us and ground us into our bodies, but it actually helps kind of open those pathways in us where we're able to communicate with all of that energy. So it'll be like this. We're going to inhale and exhale with sound. <sighs> so I want everybody to do one more of those. Inhale. And exhale with sound, <sighs> really connecting into who you are. And for some of you, that's going to bring up a little bit of fear, but know that you're in a safe space. And what I want you all to do is picture above your head, not even two feet above, maybe a foot above. It's just right above you, swirling around is this golden light. But this isn't golden light like we normally think of. It's not the clouds part and, ah, oh, the beam of light shines through. This is actually like a thick 
gooey, kind of honey-like substance. It's got a real sustenance to it, this light. It's, it's warm, it's gooey. It's kind of like walking into a home where somebody's just baked cookies. You know, It's got that warm feel to it. And I want everybody right now to give the direction to open up their chakras. Just literally your energy and your energy response to you, whether you have a story that's limiting you from, from that or not, we're leaving those limiting stories outside of this circle right now. So give your chakras the direction to open and spin. And as they begin to spin, feel and picture this light start to run down into that top crown chakra. And as it begins to spin up there, this gooey, golden, warm, connected, universal light starts to spin through your energy field. And it starts to move down into your brain. And it starts to spin literally into the center of your head where it begins to clear away all of the clutter. Some of you, I, I get a very big sense of a fog that maybe you've just kind of been living in this spiritual fog where, you know, just somebody tell me what to do, tell me what to do, give me the answer. And this is the place where not only are you able to receive the answer, but you're able to receive it from you because you're going to be able to tap into all that you are. So feel that energy start to swirl around and literally start to awaken and enhance the frequencies of the pituitary and pineal gland. And as we do that, we're actually going to give the direction to the pineal gland, not just to open up and facilitate and allow in the light, but literally to be the light. And as that energy begins to flow, allow this golden light to start moving through the third eye area, literally wiping away any kind of clutter or any kind of smog. It's almost like looking through a fogged over window and allow it to not only just clear the fog off of the window, but take the window out because you don't need that window. It's it's just kind of a means of separation. You don't need to be separated from your vision of the world and from you. You can bring that in and unite it and experience it. And so as that energy continues to flow and clean in that space, let any place in your energy field, as this light moves through that needs to go, allow this light to just sweep it up and literally pull it up from the roots and fill back in so that, that where those roots of maybe lack and limitation were, now you've got a solid foundation. And allow the golden light to continue spinning. And as it continues moving through the head, it now spins down into the throat. Wow, and some of you, I can really feel that. Some of you have not been able to speak your power or speak your truth or speak the authority of who you truly are in any aspect of your life. Wow. So we're going to let this energy continue to move and start to spin through that throat chakra and really start to loosen that chakra up and get it spinning at the highest, most correct speed literally where there's no lack and no limitation on who you are so that you're able to start speaking your truth into the world. I am worthy. I am abundant. I am love. I am love. And as this golden light continues to move through that, feel it now start to move down through the chest. And as it enters the heart, it's funny, for some of you I can feel a space where it almost sort of stops just short and it's like there's a detour saying, you know, don't, don't really come into my heart because it's too wounded, it's too broken. Allow this light to wash through that detour and move directly down into the heart. And if, if there's any hardening of the heart, allow this golden light to penetrate. It's almost, like, it's almost like a big rock down there for some of the people in this energy. And that light literally can start to swirl that rock and start to melt that rock and start to take that debris away as it opens up because you're safe as it opens up the heart. In any place, some of you may feel like you've given your heart away and there's just nothing there anymore. So allow this light to come in and expose the truth and expose the truth that, yes, you gave your power away, but that heart is still there and it's just waiting for you to drop down into it and be one with all that you are. And so now, maybe for the first time, experience what it's like to have not only the third eye open so that you're able to see yourself in the world and you're able to speak yourself in the world, but you're actually able to and not afraid of any longer to have the experience of what it's like to be you out in the world. And as this light continues to clear any place in the heart and fill any crooks and cracks and crevices, feel it starting to move down through the solar plexus. And the solar plexus, literally so named solar because it's literally kind of the seat of that universal space of connection to the universe. So allow it to start moving in and filling that space so that any stories about where the universe may have done you wrong or why you don't belong here, that you never even wanted to be here in the first place, allow those stories to start moving out. Allow this energy to start opening you back up to the truth. And the truth is that you chose to be here and you're ready to be here and you want to be here 
and you are going to ascend and expand in this amazing time of awakening. And as that energy continues to move through now, feel it go down to the navel. And this is a very important space because this is where, as we come into physical existence, where we're all, we all start to get our connection and we all start to get nourishment. And so for many of us, many of us, myself included, some of that nourishment also came with somebody else's lack and limitation. And, you know, some of it was meant because they wanted to protect us or they wanted to keep us out of trouble or harm. But it was, it was not maybe what we truly intended to be in this life, but we took it on. And so what we're going to do now is see that golden light start to just really swell and move in that space where it starts to unplug you, not only from all of those other limiting places in yourself you might be plugged into, but literally removing you from being plugged into anyone else's energy on the planet or beyond, anything dimensionally, whatever it is, allow yourself to unplug. Unplug from those limiting spaces and ideas of who you're supposed to be or what you're supposed to create or any kind of um, polarity in the thoughts. Allow yourself to unplug from those places. And now that you can see yourself in the world and now that you can speak your truth and feel the experience of that and are connected into a kind, loving universe, allow that Allow yourself to plug into that so that now you're not being nourished by anyone else's lack or limitations, even when they mean well. You're literally plugged directly into universal source. You're literally plugged into all that is. You're literally plugged into the joy and the peace and the prosperity and the harmony and just the overall love of who you are. And now, from that place, feel that energy move down into the sacral area, into that first chakra, and really, really start to get that area moving. And I'm kind of seeing, again, it's like, it's like a wheel that, that hasn't been spun in a while for quite a few of you. So there's just this place where imagine how powerful you've been. Imagine how powerful you'll be now that you've got all cylinders firing and running. So let all of this energy, now that you're, you can see what you want in the world, you can see how you fit into it, you can speak your truth, you can speak who you want, and you're not afraid to ask for what you want or go for it because now you're open to having that experience and you're open to letting the universe fully, fully support you because you know you're safe. And now all of that energy starts to flow into your creation chakra, that one, that root chakra, giving you kind of a new sense of self and a new sense of what you can accomplish. And as that energy continues to move down now through the legs, feel, literally feel it building support back into your body where maybe you felt a lot of lack or maybe you felt dis-ease or disharmony. Allow this energy to flow through you and take any of that and start to collect it and wash it up. And start to dissolve and dismantle all of those limiting stories around moving forward and being in your power. And as all of that energy continues to flow into the knees, the knees are an interesting uh, connection point to almost the masculine feminine. Energy is just energy, but in our own kind of physical realities, we have all of these kind of polarities and dichotomies. And these are the places that some of those things can collapse and get stored. So it, 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 a lot of people who have problems in these areas, it's all about stepping forward. It's all about stepping out of the grid, literally unplugging yourself from sort of the 3D matrix and awakening into who you really are. And not only awakening, but taking that step, taking that step where you may not see it. It may look like you're about to step off a cliff, but you step and suddenly you're supported. So allow that energy in the knees to start to wash away as well and start to be transformed. And as that energy continues, this golden energy flowing in from above, moving down through your entire body, continues on down into the lower legs. Literally, you see this energy continue to move through, and it's almost like building a path where before you were trying to scale a very rocky road to get up to some very um, high, mountainous, cavernous, dangerous space that you didn't even really want to be in. Now you're able to see this clear path laid out right in front of you, that just takes you right exactly where you want to go. This golden light just takes anything and moves it out of your way and just says, I love you, come forward. And now as the energy moves down through to your feet, feel that support, literally start to anchor into this dimension, this 3D reality of Earth, so that you can be all of these things here in the now moment, free from all of the other lack and limitation, and allow this golden light to continue to spend through all of these chakras and hit any place in your body now that we may have exhumed even more stuff that's ready to move forward and allow all of it to just fall down to the very bottom and all of a sudden feel trap doors in your feet just open up and they shoot down all the way to the center of the earth and feel all of the gunk that's come through your body that you're able now to release and relinquish and let go of, let it drop right out through the bottoms of your feet. And take a minute just feeling that golden light flowing through your chakras. And notice how good it feels. And then notice as within, so without. It starts to transform the physical reality. 
And as you're as as all of that stuff that you're now ready to slough off, those clothes, those tattered tattered ideas of who you used to be are falling away from you. Notice an interesting thing happen. As above, so below. It's all united. It's all the same. And you start to see this golden, gooey, warm, loving energy swirling beneath your feet. And as that energy begins to move up through your feet, it's still pouring down through your head, moving down. But now it's literally pouring back up and moving back up where you're rooting into that connection. And you can feel what it would feel like to literally physically step out into the world and step onto your path. And you feel it moving up through your knees and reinvigorating those unity points where you're able to connect. And as those unity points bring you more and more connection and unity, it moves up into your legs and your thighs where you go, yeah, I can step forward into my power because I really feel firmly supported by the universe, by myself. Suddenly these places where I thought it'll never work, suddenly I see this clear path. And as this energy continues to move up now, now you move forward into that first chakra, that root chakra, that creation zone with all of this momentum behind you, all of this support, ready to do whatever it is you want to step into doing. And as that energy continues to move up, even into the stomach area, I felt a few of a few places on the call where people started to go back into fear about what that would be, and that's them wanting to plug back into that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're literally just going to cut those cords right back off. We're going to literally move the wall sockets. There's nothing there to plug into anymore, and we're going to plug you back into yourself so that you know that now you're coming forward, your path is cleared, you feel supported, your creation is moving forward, and you're not scared because you're connected in. You're connected to that energy, and as that energy continues to move up, as it's also moving down through you, it moves right back into the solar plexus, bringing your entire creation to that still point, to that blank page, to the focal point of the universe, where you're then able to pull it in through your heart, because now you're able to have the experience of what it is to be you. And you're able to say, God, universe, source, pureness, thought, whatever it is, all that I am this is who I am, this is my experience, and it's literally singing that out from the heart, it's literally radiating that out from the heart space, and as it radiates out from the heart space, that energy continues to move up into your throat, where you are comfortable and absolutely 100% in authority in claiming and stating who you are and what you want, and it's like ordering um, it's like ordering something. You go in, you place your order, and you know it's coming right to you. There's not a shadow of a doubt. And as that energy moves back up through your throat, any places and spaces in you that used to be the, the sort of lack areas of the mind where you would go into that double chatter or that doubt, it's literally like just going through with an eraser, and all of that energy just goes in and erases it. And so now you're able to experience your support and feel what it's like to be supported by creation because you're plugged into a universe that cares and supports you, and that enables you to plug into and feel safe in having the experience of you, which enables you to speak that truth. And now, maybe for the first time ever, you're able to clearly get an idea and clearly get a vision for that in your third eye. You're clearly able to project it. And because the, the pineal gland is now being the light and projecting that out, you're literally able to start seeing in the world places and spaces you could go, new possibilities and new potentials are opening up before you. And that energy now begins to spin back out through the crown chakra and it starts to flow in and literally create a circle like three feet wide all around you. So it's flowing in and it's flowing from the bottom up and it's just creating this giant circle of gold light. And so feel any places maybe in your energy field that feel like they could use that extra support, that extra love, let this golden light go in there and just satiate it. It's like being very, very thirsty, and this light quenches everything. And so allow this light to quench, and if there's that space in your, in your third eye or space in your mind that opens up with doubt, allow that light to flood back in and literally pull it up from the roots. It doesn't need to be there. And as we do that, I'm also going to do an invocation so that we all balance our energy, the frequency of the masculine, the feminine, the child, and belief systems within the radiation of our light, which is this gold light, within the electromagnetic hole of the whole, which is the brain, which is the processor, but it's also so much more than that. It's our field. And as all of this light continues to flood in us and support us and build in around us, picture yourself literally now existing in this sphere of powerful golden light where you can literally breathe it in, not just through the navel, but through the heart and through the mind and through the voice. So it literally becomes the song it literally becomes the vibration that every single particle in you and every single space around you begins to sing and it begins to vibrate in that space. And I'm actually going to put a little tinge of blue light in there just to help everyone kind of come back and ground but also feel, feel uh, motivated and feel 
like they can go out and experience this potential in actuality and so that it, it doesn't feel like a foggy space. It feels like this is real. So picture just maybe 3 or 4% of that light now turning kind of to a nice ocean blue color and feel that light just continue to swirl around you and seal you in. And this light is there whenever you want it. And we're going to continue to run this light. And as I run the light, I'm again going to invoke the creation formula, which is all of these high-frequency symbols and chart numbers, and we're going to smooth that through the energy field so that it's able to start. We're literally, it's like we've gone in and dug up your foundation and moved the walls, and now we're putting in the enforcements and we're building those new walls and spaces in your energy field. So take just a couple of seconds and feel that blue light start to move up through the legs into the sacral area and all the way up through your torso, really bringing you back to present awareness. But as you come into awareness here, notice that awareness here is now different. It's changed. And I'll give you all just a couple of seconds to come back. And Darius, I'll give you a few seconds as well because I know this can kind of space some people out as they really, really start to vibrate in that, that higher place. And what that is is you're vibrating in that higher place. You're literally kind of sending out all of those lower vibrations, and that's what it means to be ascended. It means to literally slough off all of that stuff and live in that unity point, that focal point, where people used to think, oh, you have to die to do that. No, you don't. <laughs> you just have to awaken. And that's what we're doing right now. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the UF Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.